mackerel. Very few people know about it, and they're like, wow, look at this, when they see it for the first time. I started collecting model yachts. I started sailing with a club in New Jersey and realized that there might be some interest in this area, put a display up in our local library, and the next thing I know, there were eight people interested, and we're off and running, and now we have a club of about 27 members. Meet old friends, sail your boats, do well on the water. And this is the uh, U.S. Vintage Model Yacht Group's National Championship Regatta Series, and it's being hosted by the Chester Springs Model Yacht Club. We actually have 12 states represented and uh, the province of Ontario. You have a remote control uh, radio transmitter. You can control the sails and you can control the rudder. There's no propeller on the boat, there's no motor, so if there's no wind, you've got an expensive bobber. <laughs> All of these boats here today are vintage. Many of them are made by hand, uh, scratch built, plank on frame. Ooh. I can do that. Yeah. I love doing it. I teach other people how to sail and how to build and restore model yachts. You know, they're timeless. This boat that I'm sailing and restored has been in my family since uh, 1950, um, longer than I've been in our family. Five kids came along in the family and it went to the attic and I got it out of the attic this spring. And I said to the kids, you know, should we get rid of it or restore it? And it was unanimous, restore it. It's all new to me. It's, uh, it looks great restored it at the Wooden Boat School under the tutelage of John Stout. It's headed to the far shore. And uh, here it is. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of our past we'll bring it back to life. We need a rescue on boat 22. <laughs> we'll be sailing here through 3 o'clock Sunday afternoon. We're at 1101 Beaver Dam Road in Honeybrook, Pennsylvania. Hi, nice to meet you. you. Thanks for helping out. Ah, it's the camaraderie. Some of the guys come to see the other boats and to enjoy talking to uh, the other folks about them. You know, a couple times a month, sail with a group of friends and um, maybe learn something new. I'd like to pass it on to something called the Model Yachting Center, if we can ever get one off the ground, and we, which we've been trying to fund the research to do that. The seed's been planted and a lot of people have uh, given donations already. This one is Tritonia. It was a 1934. We want to um, recognize the past and ensure the future because model yachting is waning and all, all these wonderful uh, vintage boats could disappear. And that's what we're trying to prevent.